Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading, guys. Of course, hanging out with the bossy beeves as usual. Mega good vibes. And we're on to share a message for those of you who have a very strong female guide that watches over you. Um, I feel like they're watching over your dreams right now. And they want to tell you that you're almost there. I don't know what that means, but I keep hearing that message on repeat. And... I keep hearing like, oh, like I can't even sing because I can't hit the high note because of my voice right now, guys. But um, like you're halfway there living on a prayer. Take my hand and you'll make it. I swear. OK, that's what I keep hearing. And I keep humming that song. Um, I had a really powerful dream last night and how I know it was a message about, like that I need to share that some of you have protection watching over you and you, like you'll be just fine like you guys will be just fine i feel like some of you are worried about the outcome of a situation um, but i'm hearing things are going to be just fine you have a strong female guide or ancestor that watches over you um and th like they want you to 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 reach out and ask them like it's such a pressing message it's like i feel so called to share the message they want you to ask for help because I feel like whoever you are, you your nature is like you're very independent. So it's really hard for you to ask for help and also lean on others for help. Like you have this kind of stubborn attitude about you where you just you like to do things alone. But what this female guide is telling me is that you also have too much pride about yourself where you don't like others to know when you are struggling and I'm hearing that there's lots of help around you and it's you don't have to ask people for help you just need to reach out to this female guide but they want you to pray and reach out to them and ask for help or ask for assistance because I feel like like what they're saying is you have free will but I feel like they're standing like right there with you um, they may even try to send you signs they, they constantly get you out of trouble as well is what I'm hearing um, but they always make sure that you have everything you need like some of you may be very like very surprised that like you just happen to make it in the nick of time or like some like you you're like somehow things just always work out like i hear a, a powerful affirmation for you at this time is everything is always working out for me um but anyways guys let me start shuffling some of these cards here because i'm feeling like very like pushed to do this reading okay because i feel like there is some of you who are just going through aspects of the journey right now where you're being forced to go through separation because maybe there is something that you need to be reminded of on this journey um even like if a lot of you are experiencing spiritual attacks or you can feel karmic energy trying to spiritually attack you many of your masculines are well on their way towards their divine feminine counterpart because i feel like there's something that they need to connect with you to either learn some kind of gift needs to unfold um like there is something about you two meeting that unlocks certain aspects of this journey like it helps you to do better in this lifetime for either yourself or your children or your lineage is what i'm hearing also um and when that happens i feel like there's dark forces at play where they get irritated that when twins connect it kind of squishes their plans because i feel like when you two connect it 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 releases like spiritual gifts and it helps you guys to help others on a larger scale so it's like you're affecting the influence of the collective in a way that is leading people more towards themselves or their their authentic selves if that makes sense okay so i'm gonna find out what this guide has to say to you um what advice they have for you right now how it is they're looking after you or looking over you Okay, so for those of you who have found this message universe please provide clarity for them whoever this female guy is please provide clarity for them please come through clearly in this reading what goddess messages wants to come out for those of you who will stumble across this reading for those of you who are meant to hear this reading sorry guys i'm still feeling a little bit of pain in my wrist what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the deck in half. So 
So we have goddess Parvati, okay? And that says it's the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. Okay, so you have a powerful guide that's telling you that they're not going to leave your side. Okay, so their love doesn't leave. I am a love that doesn't leave. I'll show you guys up close the message. Oh, please don't go blur me, blurry on me now. Okay, so I am a love that doesn't leave. So I feel like like many of you have, I want to say a special mission. Um, and it that's why this journey has been really stressful. Like I feel like there's a lot of you who, like you've been hit with a lot of spiritual attack, but it, I'm hearing don't give up now or you don't have to do it alone. You don't have to do the journey alone because how these spiritual attacks are affecting you guys is like, you know, like your finances, like anything to do with like the, when we think about the tarot, right? When we think about wands, that that's our passion, our spirit in life. Okay. When we think about cups, it's our emotions. Many of you might be emotionally drained. Um, you keep getting karmic, karmic attacks where like let's say with your divine masculine you keep experiencing heartbreak with third party energy that could be spiritual attacks um i feel like with um like or you might be going through like emotional roller coaster or you might say that a lot this twin flame journey is an emotional roller coaster okay um and then we have swords okay so your thoughts like many many of you may be mentally drained where it's like you can't think straight you can't remember things um you're very you're ve feeling very forgetful um, many of you may be drawn towards substance use right now. Um, and then we have pentacles, okay, which is like money or, or the physical world, how it is we get by in the physical world. Many of you may be struggling with like your jobs. Um, you're not as like you're feeling like really foggy when it comes to your creativity. Um, so pay attention to those four areas of your life. Um, I'm hearing to even get your own tarot deck because whoever this goddess is, whoever this energy is around you they will help you whether it's an oracle deck or a tarot deck i'm hearing purchase one and start reading messages for yourself okay because many of you i'm hearing you need backup or you have backup on the way or maybe many of you have started reaching out silently through prayer okay but if you have a stubborn nature about yourself um, i'm hearing to release that ego release that pride because you have help here on the way but they can't cross like i'm seeing a barrier and they're waiting at the gates and they can't cross the barrier until you ask for assistance it's one of those lessons in life where you have to realize that you're not here alone many of you may be feeling like you're here alone and based off of some of the experiences that have been happening to you you've maybe be your your ego is is taking over to the point where um you're starting to like resent um, you know, the idea of like there's a God or there's a universe or there's spiritual help. So many of you, I feel like are getting further and further and further away from that truth. Sorry, guys, I had to take a call. But um, yeah, as I was saying, like, you know, getting further and further away from that truth of realizing that you're not here alone. There is spiritual guidance available to you. There is spiritual help available to you. But I feel like um, there's a disconnect from that lately with the collective. Okay, so I feel like maybe this is your reminder okay maybe you guys needed this refresher all right so um i'm gonna get a little bit of tarot on this and find out like what areas of your life you really need to pay attention to um at this point okay or maybe like further messages that they're trying to send you about different areas of your life that's being affected right now okay so what does the collective need to know what do you wish to let them know about like what do they need to be paying attention to right now So we have the energy of wands and we have two of pentacles, okay? So your purpose, okay? New beginnings are wanting to occur for you, which is why you're getting the ace energy. They're maybe wanting to bring in new opportunities for you, but you see how they have their eyes closed and their third eye is on fire. 
Um, many of you maybe need to sit down and meditate more. Talk to your ancestors. Talk to God. Don't don't stray from that truth, especially if you're on this twin flame journey. Like, don't just rely on tarot readings. Like, remember to go back and ground yourself. If you're able to, go out in nature so that way you can experience this energy even more. Like, like self-talk, okay? Because I feel like, like even even the posts that I shared in the community board about like social media and just us being really careful about the use of apps and things like that, protecting our kids. Um, I feel like nature is what is lacking um, for, for many of us. When you go out in nature and you go away from the static, um, you're able to gain the clarity more. Like I feel like a lot of you have um, new opportunities in the form of like business ideas. Like on, like many of you are meant to be entrepreneurs. Like I'm hearing that earning your pentacles, it's a choice, okay? Because the two is about choices here. Many of you have a choice which way you want to go. I feel like a lot of you have been awakening to repetitive thoughts about taking action on a particular business idea, but it's like for the life of you, you just can't figure out why you can't get your energy to do it. It's because you guys have been under spiritual attack on the twin flame journey. Now, you're also being called to remember to protect your energy, okay? So you remember to reach out to your spirit guides. And the thing is, is like make this something that's daily so that later on on the journey, spiritual attacks won't even affect you. But I feel like those of you who are feeling the brunt of it, um, we need to connect more to our higher, the higher powers, the higher spiritual assistance that's available to us many of us are straying further and further away from that the more power we put into things like tarot readers and making decisions off of what readings say in the cards and things like that i feel like the disconnect is happening where many of us need to connect back to god and really do view these readings as just you know further insight or um further validation on your own intuition that you've meditated meditated upon you've prayed upon all right guys so I feel like money is being affected right now because pentacles energy is like you guys it doesn't have to be as hard like I feel like earning money or the way that you guys get by in the physical world you there it's a, there's something about it that's needing to change or wanting to change but I feel like like for the life of you maybe your third eye has been blocked but not anymore because we have the ace of wands coming through which is a new idea is being presented to you new opportunities your spiritual help is here they will whisper the thoughts and ideas into you they will give you the energy that you need they will renew and help restore the energy that many of you need to get this going again to get your goals going again Okay, let's see what else it wants to come out to remind you about what you need to stay focused on. And two also is like, it's about choices, yes. But remember, choices are constantly being presented to us. Make sure that you guys are being very intentional about the choices that you're making. I'm talking about everything, guys. Like from the moment you wake up, if the first thing you do is like grab your phone and try to scroll through social media, change that habit. That is what's keeping you guys blocked. Okay, make sure that you guys are intentionally taking care of yourselves when you wake up in the morning like i had a sprained wrist guys and like my my throat is feeling so much better after i did that reading yesterday and i started cursing at the end of the reading because i started realizing like wait a second like i am in control here right so um, I feel like many of you have a lot of choices to make in terms of like what kind of businesses you want to do, what kind of online opportunities are available out there to you because many of you are meant to do things easier. Like that's what this guide keeps telling me. Many of you do not need to be stressing the way that you are. Like the amount of hours that you guys are working for the pentacles in your life, I'm hearing that's all about to change for you drastically. What I foresee for many of you is that your work life, your the, the amount of hours that you guys are going to be working in a day, it's going to be scaled down to three. Mark my words, three hours a day and you guys are going to be making the same amount of money that you're making right now. Okay, but you guys have been under like mental fog let's see what else is coming up here okay because i feel like you guys have been under under mental fog why has your what do you need to work on like why has these business ideas been blocked from you i feel like many of you have the ideas but you don't know how to execute them why is that being blocked what do you guys need to be focused on here So we have Queen of Cups here. 
Okay, so softening up. Okay, I feel like softening up and giving yourself grace is what the Queen of Cups is telling me. Many of you have been way too hard on yourselves. And this tells me that a lot of you have been trying to do it alone. And maybe your Queen of Cups is saying to open up your heart. Pour into your own cup first. Prioritize yourself. Take care of yourself. Cut loose heavy baggage that's been weighing heavy on you guys. Draw healthier boundaries. Um, there is, again, this energy coming through that you don't have to do it alone. Um, many of you may feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders as well. Give yourself grace. Be the queen of cups to yourself right now. I feel like many of you need love and you need nurturing, but the only person that can do this for you is you. That queen of cups is in there. And then once you guys give yourself that love, once you ask for assistance, when you give yourself love, you'll have the grace to ask for assistance. When you give yourself love and permission to love yourself, prioritize yourself, like I feel like many of you have been really busy as well, um, maybe taking care of others, maybe nurturing others, making sure that everything is okay. Like I feel like a lot of you guys, you get up and you just go, 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 go. Um, you need to take time like for your like spiritual hygiene is what I'm hearing because a lot of you are go, go, go about when it comes to taking care of like your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional health. Um, I feel like it all comes crashing down at night. You guys are not getting as much sleep as you'd like to. Um, you uh, you want to break away from, again, the, the choice that you're making to make your way through the physical world um but you need to to love on yourself and that loving on yourself means saying no to certain things like cutting down your schedule seeing where it is you can make more time to prioritize you all right um i'm gonna get one more card and then we're gonna wrap up this message okay what else do you need to know whoever's reading this is for what else do you need to know I feel like I'm hearing what other areas of your life you need to prioritize. Okay, so we're having 10, we have the 10 of cups here as well. Um, I'm hearing that you'll find this emotional stability with your family a lot easier. Like the 10 of uh, cups might be very, like with the queen of cups and the 10 of cups coming up, family life is very important to you. Um, but I'm hearing that you can't run yourself too thin and all is well in the area of your family life, your family and your home life. Many of you may worry about your children. Um, you may find yourself at times being like the helicopter parent. It's like you want to do everything for your kids. You don't want them to experience hardship. Something tells me that you really want this Ten of Cups. You've been working very hard for it. Maybe a, like I'm getting a lot of you to um, maybe single out there and you have children. Um, I'm hearing that love is is going to find you, but you need to ask for spiritual assistance. There is very powerful goddess energy that wants to assist and wants to help you. Um, but again, a lot of you need to release that that inner part of you that keeps wanting to just take it all in and do it all alone, okay? I'm hearing with the Ten of Cups, it's going to surprise you because you're going to have a lot of like family and friends coming through like many of you may be craving love or in your mind you may think like you want a partner what i see happening is the universe is going to be blessing you with um like family friends true friends you can count on playmates for your children other mothers that you connect with that make you feel a sense of community or a sense of peace when it comes to your family life okay all of that is coming through with this goddess here like i feel like a lot of you have been carrying a lot of weight by yourself and you are about to be blessed with like a sense of purpose i'm also seeing like hands hugging you as well um so uh, like a big community holding you close and holding you tight okay because i keep hearing this reassurance of everything is going to be okay and we also have the star card which is a major arcana here coming through as well um all is well for you like the end of the end of struggle is over um, the star card also tells me that you're meant to live a very abundant, happy life. But there's been like this inner voice that's been weighing you down, making life seem a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Um, many of you, um, it's like you feel like you're stuck, but you keep attracting more and more experiences to make you feel that way. I'm hearing that someone who is watching over you right now, like many of you may feel a heaviness over your shoulder. Or sometimes like when you sit down to do your thing, you might have like a heavy hunch. Um, someone is wanting to come and like straighten up your back and let you know that 
they're there. All they want for you to do is ask. Like there is a certain magic about this reading and the energy that I'm getting in this reading. If it finds you, for those of you who have been going through struggle, like it's over. The Ten of Cups is telling me it is over. The Ace of Wands is letting me know it's over. You've completed this cycle of struggle and you're now on to, to better things. Okay, guys? <laughs> um, I love you guys. Take care. I'm so happy for whoever this reading is, is for. All right? Bye, guys.